welcome to another tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make shakes. Alright, so first things first, you're gonna want your clip, alright? Just drag whatever you want. I'm just gonna use this little, little section here of this clip just to demonstrate. Okay, so first things first, to do shakes, you're gonna need a Sapphire plugin, S underscore shake. Search up S underscore shake. And there you go, S underscore shake. Gonna want to do this layer, new adjustment layer. Once you have your adjustment layer, you can drag the S underscore shake. And I'm gonna show you how to do like a basic beat shake, right? The amplitude right here is super important. The keyframing, I like to turn on motion blur and stuff, but here's some, here's like a shake for example. I'll keyframe it at 5 by clicking the stopwatch. I click U on my keyboard to expand this. I'll go like a couple frames and then I'll click 0. And then I can just cut it by doing Command Shift D. And it'll look like this. That doesn't look really nice at all. Nothing. You see like the edges here. You can see like some black lines up here. Yeah, it looks really bad. To make this look better, you're gonna want to get motion tile. And I've talked about this in my previous tutorial, my depth to field tutorial, on the mirror edges. So output height 200, output width also 200, and click mirror edges. So now it looks a lot cleaner. But it still doesn't like look good at all, you know? It, it looks all janky and bad. So, you're gonna wanna click both of your keyframes for the shake. Right click and do keyframe assistant. Easy ease. Or just do F9 on your keyboard. Then you wanna open the graph editor, which is this thingy. And you can wanna like, I don't know, zoom in. And then you wanna click on this top here and make it look like this you can just play around see how strong you want it to be stuff like that i usually like my shapes to have an, an uh, frequency of like 20 and i can just play with like my x values my y you know just always have tilt shape really nice so yeah, it'll look like something like that. Let's see. Something like that, you know, some nice shakes. You can play with them however you want. Sometimes you can just turn off your Y shake and do X shakes like this. I, I'm not a big fan of X shakes. I usually love Y shakes. They're like very nice. But yeah, here I can play, you know, the values. Whatever you want, you know, shake, that's what I like about shake. You can play with a lot of stuff, you know. Uh, also the seed, every time you use like a shake, like let's say I use a shake here. And then a couple frames later, I have like the same shake. A couple frames later, let's say I have like the same shake. It's gonna look very repetitive if like the seed doesn't change. So I just like move it randomly, you know. So, you know, they look different sort of ish and that's kind of what the shake looks like you know yeah if you want um stick around for a bit more i can show you how to do a y shake uh one of my favorite type of shakes um the y shake is gonna look like this i'll show you how it's gonna look like usually when i'm doing a bow shot or like the end of a clip i use a y shake that just moves it up and down like that you know and it just makes it look nice I'm gonna teach you how to do that Y shake. It's not that hard at all. So, first of all, you're gonna want your motion tile again, same settings as before for all your shakes. You're gonna wanna get your S shake. Oh, let me just close that. You're gonna wanna get your S shake here, drag it on, and you're gonna wanna keyframe the amplitude at zero. So, here you go to zero and click the stopwatch to keyframe. Click U to expand your uh, layer. You go to the very end, and I like to do a 2.5, maybe 5. Uh, usually I'll do a 2.5, and it's gonna now it's gonna look like this. You're gonna be like, oh, bro, this looks like some cringy 
iMovie editor that is just moving the clip's position. Yeah, I know. I totally agree. But here's where we spice it up a bit. All right. Rule number one. Crank that motion blur on. You already know. Number two, frequency. Um, it depends how hard you're trying to do it. Sometimes I go like 15 for it. And it's still going to look like very bad. Um, but here's where we change it now with the this part here, you know, this little section here. You want to click on the drop down of the X shake and turn this value all the way to zero. All the way. And then the Y shake, you can just crank this up to 100. You know, you know what? You, you can actually just, just crank it. Keep on cranking until you can't crank anymore. <laughs> nah, I'm just, I'm just kidding. You just want to keep it at 100 and turn off that tilt shake. We don't want the tilt shake for the Y shakes because it's only Y, you know? So yeah. And once you have it, you should be set. You'll get something that looks like this, you know? Something that looks like, let me, let me actually, I'll show you what it looks like. It looks like that, you know? But if you wanna like, I don't know, if you don't want it to look like that, you can always just play around with the graph editor after you did easy ease, did two keyframes, F9. I usually don't like to do that. I like it like nice and long, so you can like notice it. But yeah. That's how you do the Y shake. Yeah. You want to see more shakes? Twitch tutorial? Twitch. Twitch is such a nice type of shake, you know? We all love Twitch. Who doesn't love Twitch? I'm not talking about Twitch like, like the one place you go streaming. Twitch, you know? I'm talking about the Twitch that's going to make your screen go shaking for years after you put a Twitch shake, you know? I'm talking about that shake, you know? That Twitch, the thing that makes your monitor go crazy, you know? Maybe a tutorial next time. Let me know. Hope you enjoyed my shake tutorial. And yeah. Peace.